Hey, this is Katrina Sawa, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. I wanted to introduce you to my good friend, Kim McLaughlin. Kim is an amazing coach and therapist. She actually does both types of businesses and she's amazing at it. Many people flub it up, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> because she'll literally go from being a therapist by yeah. day or one day to a coach and take off that hat and be a coach the next. And what she's really good at is helping people with your, your body image, your food, um, your mindset around it all so that you can live a happier life and more fulfilled and not stress out about all that stuff. But I'm going to let her introduce you a little, her, introduce yourself a little bit more about what you do. And I'll even tell more amazing things about you because you're an author and a podcaster and all this stuff. But what do you really do with clients? Well, thank so Katrina, thanks for having me and hi everyone. I actually you did a pretty you did a really good job. We've known each other well, I've been I hope so, with right? for a while. Like you should know. <laughs> you should know what I do. We've been working together for a while. Um, what I do is I help people move from feeling frustrated, overwhelmed, and overloaded, and it shows up in overeating and over dieting. And I help them look at themselves in a different way and really create this idea of looking at your body differently, but looking at food differently. And I always say it's like, it's about the food, but it's not about the food. It's all the other areas that are going on in your life that lead you to overeat and overeat's just kind of the stress relief. But yeah. then that's not, it doesn't work over a long time. And I have a six step system that I help people with. I have a lot of freebies that I give people. They can find me on feedyoursoulunlimited.com. And um, it's just something that I'm very passionate about helping people feel better in their bodies and feel better about their lives. And we all need that. Okay. I don't okay. know what size you are, whether you're a size zero or a size 35 or whatever, anything in between, you know, some of the people that you wouldn't even think would have body issues have body issues, right? It's really interesting. It's not about the size. I'll say people will oh. They'll see people or think that they're not necessarily a client of mine. Well, it's not the perception of the body. It's how you feel about it. And people with small sizes, whatever, large sizes, middle sizes, they don't feel good about themselves. And there is a better way to live your life so that you feel good with how you are today. Because I think like, if you don't feel good with how you are today, you're never going to get to what you want for yourself tomorrow or a year from now. You got to be good with yourself. And so this, I mean, you've been doing this now for many years. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the year that you went totally big. You're like, I'm going to show up like I've never shown up before. <laughs> and you wrote a book. You have now have the Feed Your Soul podcast with yeah. Kim, right? So yeah. tell us a little bit about the journey of this year, especially with your own growth. But, oh, my God, like how many more people are you talking to and impact? My God, it's so interesting you say that. I actually am, I don't, I wish I had my book like right in front of me. I should, oh, if I was more prepared, I would have it. <laughs> there it is. In front of me. Yay. Here it is. Um, and this is Feed Your Soul, Nourish Your Life, my, my book. And what's interesting is that I think you're right, Kat, that I wanted to go bigger this year. And as we've been working together that, I, you know, in the beginning, it's like all the systems and all the getting the website in line and getting things easy. And so this year I hired on a virtual assistant, which is something you always recommend is have somebody help you out as you're moving forward in your, in your business. But this year it was go big or go home. And so I joined up with your, I don't know if you remember, I joined up last year with your write a book in 30 days. Yep. Yep. Well, it took me more than 30 days. But I okay. still, you know what, I'm, it's still, I did it and I published my book and it's um, super awesome. I um, actually used, I don't know if you know, I used people from the mastermind. Um, Alicia helped, from our mastermind helped design the out the cover. So like what I loved was that I had within the mastermind people to help 
read, people to help look at it, people to help give me ideas about titles and topics, and you especially were all in with it. But publishing that was a big win for me. And then, gosh darn it, if that wasn't enough, I just decided, I think within the month, I'm going to finally do my podcast. And my podcast has been a bucket list item for me for years. And I went all in. It's called Feed Your Soul with Kim. It is a weekly podcast that is um, extraordinary. It's a lot of information that I give out to the world, but I feel so good about having these platforms that I can get info out to people as well as have them learn about what I do, you know, all in the same. Right. Well, and I don't know if you're taking guests yet on your podcast. I know your first issues were not, but now you have it as leverage where you could potentially have guests on and they can have you on. And so when you're building strategic partnerships like that, uh, you can just reach so many more people and impact so many more people. So your message needs to get out to the world even bigger. Um, yeah, I am. And I actually am looking for people to speak. I'm still, there's still, uh, what, what I find is that, and I don't know if any of the people listening find is that, but as you kind of up level your business, there's a lot of other strategic issues that come into play about well but how do I do this and how do I do that and part of it is like as you launch something and then want to launch something else with it there's this time element and getting it all together and that is um that's where I'm at with adding people is like figuring out how right. to all the tech there's technical things that I need to do so um I, yes that is my next line of uh information gathering is is getting that out to people or having people on with me. Yes. And things, uh, you know, people always have good intentions. Well, I'm going to do this in a month or in three months. And it, it, you know, it doesn't always work out to the time frame that we think. And that's just a realistic, you know, you have realistic expectations. So, um, but in you're business, out. It just, it take, in business, it takes as long as it takes. Yeah. Right. Yep. My 30 yep. day yep. book took longer, but it's done my podcast it's there and so like i think you know for anybody listening is i'd say do it just go for it and try it and you know as we all as you and i talked about like it doesn't have to be perfect just get it out there and then tweak it and tweak it some more because you know these were not i i hope people that are listening are thinking like oh well that's easy for you to say you can just do it it's like no it's not <laughs> it took yeah. a lot of work it's not, it's not easy, but I feel so fulfilled with it. Right. And I'll, you know, your confidence has gone through the roof in the last year because now that you're a published author and you're a podcast host, I mean, how can you not have more confidence? Right. And yeah. <laughs> so interesting. You say that because back in the beginning, I was afraid to be seen. I was the one who was afraid to be seen. I would sit in my little office and talk to people, but I didn't want to be seen. And now I have blogs and podcasts and books and speaking and while well, I'm here with you. But that was really my thing a, a while, a few years ago is I don't want to be seen. And now it's like, okay, I'm out there. Um, this is, this is it. I'm, I'm going to go all in. And so did we push you outside your comfort zone or was it just inevitable? Were you going to go there anyways, just faster? I don't know. Like, well, I think it's, it's interesting you ask that because it, part of it takes, for me, it's having somebody that I talk to that, you know, that understands me and my business and has my best interest at heart, which I think, you know, for you with me, that's what happens is that you think about my business and, and I don't know anybody who's listening, like Kat sends me emails all the, and we were just talking before is Kim, you need to do this. Kim, you need to do that. Because when I work with her, she knows me. And what Kat does is, is then give me things to help further me along, especially when she knows the direction I want to go. So one, it's surrounding myself with people that are really helpful, that really want to help me grow and and see what I could do more than sometimes I could see. Also, it's partly like these have been on my list of what I want to do. And like sometimes I just got to step out and do it and I push myself. So I think it's all of the above. Well, and a lot of people say, oh, I'm going to write a book someday or I'm going to do this someday. Right. right? 
And I, and I, I, it sticks in my head. This one person said to me one time, well, Sunday is never on the calendar. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But no <laughs> Sunday is on the calendar. So right. you just got to pick a day, pick a time. And uh, don't put it like way far out just because you don't know how to do it or what yeah. to do. You put it closer out and you get help to figure it out because well, yeah and it's also getting help to figure it out like have somebody who's done it before and ask them about it and and truthfully I got to tell people is like often you got to pay for that like don't think you can boot what do they call it? bootstrap it or go on the cheap like I mean some people will think like well if I just go have a coffee date with you you'll tell me how to do it all it's like well I'll tell you some things but you're not going to get it all it's just not going to happen and that we need to put our money in as well as our time as well as our effort to make sure that we're getting kind of this reciprocal relationship going on with whoever it, we're engaging to help us but have somebody who's gone the path before super important so that you're not making a ton of mistakes i still make mistakes but not a ton of them well and we also you also run a meetup so you've done events and all this stuff and there's so many different business models we can do it's just super fun and you don't have to do them all but uh, yeah. not everybody you don't have to keep doing them after you start no. right? right it's like you start it and go oh, okay I'm good with that I'm gonna go in and do something else the evolution um, of you and your business that's what's so fun about being an entrepreneur I think mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we can do it differently anytime we want <laughs> we can change our minds you can pivot you can pivot anytime it fits yeah. for you or you can go all in and go, I'm going for this big audacious goal and I'm, I'm in. Yeah. Every so, day, every moment. So what's next for you? Maybe not this year, because <laughs> let's just make it a smooth running machine, but well, it could be. Um, well, what I want to do is I want to do more speaking. Um, I want to do international speaking. I want that international speaker. I'd love to go. Anybody in Canada listening and you have a place for me to speak, give me a call or text me or um get find me um easy feedyoursoulunlimited.com contact me and so international speaking is more of what i want to do i want to go bigger and just talk to more people go corporate go talk in corporate settings and talk about this idea of wellness and that we can live you know as we make certain tweaks in our emotions and our thoughts and in what we do, we can actually feel better. And I'm all in to do that with as many people as possible. Awesome. Now I would imagine you're already an international speaker. If you count the online stuff, Oh yeah. but you know, something about going and speaking in a different country that makes it just seem more official. So I'm with you. True. <laughs> That's all right well it's been fun talking to you and hearing what you're how you're you know with how you're expanding and mm -hmm. increasing and scaling your business and I just wanted to share you with the world because I think uh, you're sometimes we feel like the biggest best kept secret right sometimes <laughs> I feel like that and so I know that sometimes we all do and so the more people that know about you the more collaborations you can form the more strategic partnerships so don't just watch you guys connect with us and yeah please connect with me let me know who you are and what you think and uh awesome. what you're doing i want to hear more cool yeah well, and thank you it's been my pleasure to work with you i know you're continuing that mm -hmm. but uh in my live big mastermind uh but you can find more about that at livebigmastermind.com or uh, contact me as well. I love to talk to people who want to go bigger and just take on the world. So have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye everyone.